having another break, make a change. I get quite a few of those. It looks like my old girl was coming in there. We are, it's been a lovely bright day. A bit annoying uh, with various other attributes of the day's disaster. And here I am just having my brief spell out and enjoying the way life seems to be. A bit cold, a bit windy, but it's very, very bright. And hey ho, you'll see one of their buses. There's one of their buses. That's the buses you find in this area in Sussex. You will either enjoy it or you will not. Yeah, I said this is one of my days that I decided, well, hey, have a break. Have a break from the usual ippy and grippy crap of London. I'm here over in Sussex for a change. And I've seen some changes that I was quite mystified. You've got one of those things called Domino's. And the pizza up in Sussex full of pensioners and vast unemployment. I mean, I had to be, I was totally mystified about that. Because here I am in Sussex for a break, for a change. And I am just, it just blows your mind to see how things are changing in such strange areas. I mean, this pensioner zone, 100% years and years ago. Now, look at it now. They're trying to catch up with us over, us, us mugs over in London. We've got pizza huts, pizza parlours, pizzerias, wine bars, and uh, an abundance of those second-hand stores for the your other sets, which I've mentioned in a recent show. But what can I say? I mean, it's going to be a taking a lot of stuff, this. I mean, I'm going to share this with all you viewers and followers on Facebook. I'm not going on tube with this one because it's a bit personal and I like sharing some of the things that I do. Hey, it may bore, it may not, I don't know. But let's see how the day progresses. It's going to be an interesting one to see because already the, the day is quite nice, as I said. And hey, there's changes that have taken place in this old pensioner's zone. It's no longer a pensioner's zone. I'd say it's more of a foreign youngster zone now. Becoming retro slowly, but retro still the same. Mind you, admit, Brighton is a town now. It's a city. I mean, hey... Why waste your time with such a damn bum shitting area? Who knows? This is society. We are changing and fast. Yeah, as I was saying, like the uh, madam of my life, one of them, has gone off with the old girl. Let me here stand in my old bags. Well, Carrier ones, not my old girl. I love her to bits, but there you go. But, you know, you can smell. I mean, it goes to show we're trying to catch up. They're trying to catch up with us over in London. You know, they've got an aircon thing, sort of like facing out this way. So we get a waffle of pizza coming in our mugs, literally. I mean, yeah, it's very tempting, but hey ho. I mean, come on, that's kind of pushing the boat in a bit. I mean, yeah, transport here is just as good as that in London. Very unreliable. But there you go, I mean, life is strange. And, I mean, it's for once, compared to our place over in London, this area is just so slow, but it is quite bright today bit chilly but I said it is bright. It gives you a bit of a warm feeling. I mean I'm going to be going to the pub soon. I'm looking forward to that maybe. And then it's the great glorious journey back to the smog hell we call London and be also called home. Tis but shame, tis but pity but still we're still going to see how the day progresses. I mean Sussex alone has just changed change beyond any realistic um, intuition. I mean, really has, has changed. I don't know is that for the good or for the bad. I mean, we've got so many things going on down here. 
even in a little town, little village, as they class them over in Custom. Even though little things in Arlington, it's just weird. You know, you've got club bars popping out of anywhere and everywhere. No doubt with the late, late serving. Yeah, you still have the same share of violence that we have to share and tolerate way over in London and big, big cities. Including, surprisingly enough, Brighton to say. This way for the missus is now materialised, disrupting the previous video with something that I may not enjoy, but I don't know, I might. Hey ho, goes on. Um, yeah, I'm in a pub that used to be called the Merry Monk in Sussex. It's now been a dome, the place called the Railway Tavern. Well, it's not bad, it's a nice family pub still. But their prices are a bit steep. Their prices are a wee bit steep. But I think they're still trying to catch up with us over here in London. But well, here's the uh, charmer and the mother-in-law. Uh, the mother, sorry, not the mother-in-law. Hello. To me. Oh God, there's the charmer. And there's the mother, if you want to be a... There's the mother, yeah. Up and close, that's Mad Dog's old girl. <laughs> Anyway. God, how expensive? I just spent a lot of penny. Charming missus, charming madam, and the old girl. Oh, gee. Maybe that's a bit better. But my word, it is expensive. Ugh. I guess I'll be going home empty handed, empty pocketed, and light as a feather. Not quite drunk, I ended up with just an R. So what could do? You know, what is society coming to? Even the opposite sex, rain our pennies. Oh, definitely, the raisins have sounded a bit more prompt. Hello, yes, here is my gracious lovely mother who I'd be nowhere without her bless her little heart here she is this is why we come to Sussex up and close and personal as I said it is so what do you think for today's society mother? what do I think of today's society most of them are all bleeding thieves there you go most of them are almost thieves but other than that, what else? Some are nice. But there's very few and far between now. And how old are you today? Today? I'm 71. There you go. There you go, 71. It's all worth it when you come all the way over to places like this. This is Mad Dog and Mad Dog's old girl, Letter, love it a bit. Saying hi to you and Sherry and sorry to say. Facebook. <laughs> so anyway, TVFM for now and I'll speak to you in a wee bit to let you know how the night progresses. Here in the Merry Month. Used to be. Now the Railway Tavern. I was just reminded it's now called the Railway Tavern. Way over in sunny old Sussex for a change. Two true to the sound and sign and said of what it is, sunny Sussex, or a chain. Breathly, breathing, taking shot. The clan, me, Mad Dog, Missy Yip, and of course, Mad Dog's old girl, me mum. Nothing beats the old girl, and who like, you know, she don't like being filmed. She does not like being filmed. Bless my, bless my lovely mother's heart. But anyway, the day is nearly winding up, I'm afraid, then it's got to look on that horrible, nasty, long, long journey, hell of a long journey, all the way home. But I said it's been quite, well, it's been alright, you know, it makes a change, getting away from all the hustle and bustle of my, you know, my normal vocation, and having a day off, one whole day which I've been quite appreciating. I've been able to link up with everyone. 
who matters these days. Of course, everyone else out there who views, you matter too. But nothing beats family. Family is the most promise. I always recommend, always put your family first. Don't over underestimate or overestimate your family because they are important. But anyway, we'll carry on for now. But I said we'll be sailing away soon. Back to the smog, the smell, the shite called London. Oh, joy. Then tomorrow, normal vocation. Back to the normal things. Next week, uh, the next show, I will say prematurely, is going to be entertaining. That's the one I'm doing this week. You will enjoy it. I don't know, you might not. It's going to be a challenge because there's a lot involved. It's our little chevies. Something to be warned. In my industry, chevies can be amusing and can be very annoying. Anyway, for tonight, we'll carry on with the mellow, up close and personal of Mad Dog. Well, here we are. See, there's a train, as you can see. We have, it's the lovely journey home now. Yes, the day will very soon be indeed done. I've had a few, feeling quite merry. You've got to see me old girl, make a change. I thought you'd enjoy that, or not, I don't mind. But I said, I'm on my final journey, my final train home. Who's yet to change another train to go heading toward lovely, glorious, smoggy, cesspool city of London. Oh, how bloody exciting. But anyway, Hopefully there will be no further disruptions on this glorious thing called London British Rail. Yes, we'll keep you informed. As always, you're probably going to be finding it extremely boring. You're probably asleep by now, so... Wake up! Or switch off, it doesn't matter which. Well... As I must say, we're very on the very, very pithical, very tiny bit left of our journey. There's my train, I just came in on, going by, and what can I say? It's been an interesting, boring, crowded sort of situation. And a guard, our train is on. And no guard. We're yeah. trainers. Free journey. Yeah, train is on. Trainers. Someone was wearing trainers. Maybe the train was. I don't know. Anyway, this is the mad dash now. Because now we've got to get our last and final connection to the final destination. My abode, at least. Not hers, mine. I mean, there's Yippee Yipsy. There she is quickly, briefly, saying hi and bye. Just woken up after a very extremely long snooze from such a gracious journey. And anyway, many bawdy people around, <laughs> including me. Hello. There you go, sir. What can I say? It's just one of those mad dashes. I'm not rushing, though. If I miss my train, then I'll have to take that thing called a strange red object called a bus. A bus. Is what I don't kind of like. Well, there you go. In a realistic term, I may have to rely on that, but I won't be quiet because that's a long old journey. Well, well, that's what I can say. We're on our last threshold before this day will be done. After a good day, up close, to me, me, mine, and everyone else who may want to be caring or not about what wondrous lights outside the little box Mad Dog actually lives. Yes, I do exist in a private life, which I do seldom share, but it's nice to share every so often. Yes, we're on the train, 
A train, all the way back, smoggy, smelly, London. Uh, start all over again. Wonder what wondrous day has in plan for us. That was me, Missy Yip, and my old girl. Love it a bit. She's a sweet old girl. Oh, but there you go. I enjoy it every time, every waking time I can spend. You know, there's no humour here. This is just me being me. For a change, share it. That little bit of private I do I tend to keep with myself. But why not? If you enjoy it, you do. If you don't, you don't. I'm a human after all. Anyway, we'll soon be bye bye now, but at the moment, a little way to go yet before it's adieu and farewell, as you can say in it from the shows and even with me as a person, as an inner person as I am. Next to the little box. Enjoy or not. Choose your. Choose. Listen, Mayor. What the hell is playing with you? I mean, my staff pass, which covers me on all overground, is not recognised here over at Clapham Junction on the overground line. I mean, come on, Mr. Mayor. Are you on some kind of medication? Because sort it out, will you? For once, sort the bloody tickets out. You know, here I am trying to get home. At least my ticket's valid, but it's not the point. I look like a bloody fair evader, where we're losing billions. Because you can't get it together. I mean, come on, Mr. Mayor. Anyway, enough of my ranting and raving. This is only my day off. See? This is the last and final part of the journey. Whoopee. Yo, dog, uh, yippee. Yo. There's yippee also with me, as always. Stress. Stressed, sometimes doing my filming, sometimes not. Getting on this thing called an overground train. Get on before it goes. Yes. Anyway, this is a part of the end of the journey. Mad Dog's now giving up the Mad Dog rest and coming on Mad Dog, Mad Dog's day of business. Right, As Harry. always. Back to the normal resume. Right, She's saying back carriage. She uh, wherever Missy Yip keeps disappearing to. Yeah, yeah Missy Yip keeps saying back. the back carriage. Here, me, the dog says, I don't give a shit where I'm sitting, as long as I'm sitting somewhere. And it's quieter than London. The train well, just got off. As as Yippy says, this is a lot quieter than the trains we just got off of, and we came an awfully long way though, admitting. And hell is just trying to fight our way to the bitter, bitter end. You can go all the way to Dawson if you want. Never, no, I don't want to go to Dawson. She might want to go you, Dawson. Me, I don't want to go to Dawson. I just got my hotel room to get into when I get to my glorious next carriage. Oh. Yeah, so this is where we are going wrong, you see. Which carriage? Here, just here, right out plonking our butties, our derrieres, here. And I might consider being breaking all rules and deciding, say, what the hey, what the shit, I'm going to have another beer. But anyway, aside things all, all put, this was my day, Mad Dog's day, up and close and personal. Yeah, personal or boring, hey, only you can decide. We've only one more depth to go. And once stops. that depth is gone, that will be it. The show will be done. I will be done. Hell, I'll be totally done. Knackered. It's been a long day. It's been a hard day. It's been not too bad. It's been a good day. We've had sun. We've had rain. We've had hell. We've had snow. <laughs> Sounds good. We've also had... Overcrowded. So back to the mayor. Sort it, please. For God's sakes, that's all you can do.